Hello guys, it's me, Green Man Bookseller. And this afternoon I've got to do a little bit of work on my tricycle. Replace the wear reel. I'll twizzle the camera around and show you what the issue is. Basically, a little while ago, one Sunday evening, as I was cycling to the Royal British Legion Hall to set up for the next day, a slight altercation with a van. A van that decided to overtake me just as I was about to turn right. Not sure if it was my fault or his fault. Maybe a bit of both. But anyway, the result of which is, as you can probably see, a bent rear wheel. Don't know how well it's shown up on camera. So I've got to replace it. I've got a replacement wheel here. I bought it from the guy who built the tricycle for me. It's about £15 for the wheel and £10 postage. So, deep joy. Our front wheels, they're nice and straightforward to replace, but the rear wheel, it's a job I've not done before. We've got to, hopefully it's straightforward. To take the wheel off, take the cogs off and put the new wheel on and all the rest so yeah that's my job for this afternoon i admit i'm a complete novice at this doing changing rear wheels so it's a learning curve for me so i'm guessing that will just screw off there and then screw onto there so for those of you that are watching now and know how to do this kind of job if I'm talking rubbish, you're probably thinking Gordon Bennett, he really don't know what he's talking about. But yeah, it's a learning curve. So all good fun. Right, so an issue I've spotted. Because I, I assumed you just turn that backwards and it screw off. Not true. So I thought, ooh, how do I do that? How do I get this off? So I went on to good old YouTube, started watching a video. Oh yeah, cassettes, not cogs. <laughs> so yeah. But what... Well, Right, as an aside, the video I started watching, I'll link, put a link to that in the description to this video. So anyone want to know how to sort of take sets off and all the rest, I'll let you watch that video. I'll do a better job of describing it than what I'll be able to do. But basically, I need a tool to be able to get this off. A tool that I haven't got. So what I'm going to do, guys, is quickly pop to a local bike shop see if they can help out so bear with me guys I just popped to wheels of Gillingham a uh, local bike shop sort of down near the train station they didn't have the right tool in stock so what they've done is they've ordered one and it should be arriving early to mid next week and what they kindly did was while I was there the guy quickly took the cassette off for me and I've been able to whack onto the new sort of wheel so as soon as I get back home I can swap the inner tube and the tire from the old wheel to the new wheel and get it back on my trike so yeah all good fun I'll tell you coming down here because of temporary traffic lights it took me a bit longer to get down here so I've got to fight my way through the traffic jams on the way back home deep joy Right, back home, and as you can see, taking the inner tube and the tire off of the old wheel. I'm just about to put it onto the new wheel. So that's the next job. And I've temporarily mislaid my tire lever. So when I have uh, taken bicycle tires off and off, on and off the rim. So doing it the old fashioned way, just using my fingers. All good fun. That wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be, thankfully. So the jobs are good. And I just got to pump the tyre up, the inner tube. Now, one, if those of you don't know, one good thing is, bicycle tyres, they've got the, tell you what, PSI to go up to. And I've got this pump here. And it's got, got that, so you can see how how much you're putting in so yeah just check your 
bicycle tyre, see what PSI it needs. That's 2.8 to 4.5. And just you've got the guide there to show you what they do. I, I ride to go. So that's the new wheel on the bike. Now, one thing I've sometimes forgotten to do with bikes in the past that have got V brakes, when I've put the wheel back on, I've forgotten to connect the V brake back up. So, can I? How well can I do this one-handed? So this is a. This is. You've got to un, undo the V brakes to take the wheel off, and then to put it back on. Oh. I'm not sure I can do this one-handed, but uh, yeah, basically that bit there clips back into that bit there. I can't do it one-handed, so what I'll do is I'll stop recording a second. There you go. That's the brake connected back up again. So if when you put your wheel back on, you forget to connect the v-brake back up like that the brake's not gonna work you're not gonna have brakes so yes <laughs> when you put a wheel back on and you if it's a v-brake bike make sure you put that back on uh, yeah, just taking the trike for a spin it's all working good so back up and running yes very happy Tricycles back on the road. No more knackered rear wheel. And I've, uh, yeah, just take this down the tip at some point. So it's uh, no good for anything. Um, don't know whether it's worth keeping. I might keep it for a while, just, just in case I need any of the spokes or anything. <laughs> Probably be one of those things. Can I hold on to it for 30 years? Never need it. The day after I chuck it out, because I've decided I don't need it. That's the day I need it. <laughs> the day after I check it out. But anyway, yes. My trike's back on the road, so I'm a very happy chappy. <laughs>